Tonight, a local coach is home after fighting for his life in the hospital. Now the coach is speaking out to 4029's Brett Rains about why he believes he's still alive tonight. It's new. Coach Brian Sims was in the hospital since April. At times, he was in critical condition on life support and undergoing surgery about once a week. Now Coach Sims is home, and he's, he's crediting the power of your prayers for helping heal him. Late last night, people lined the street and cheered as Coach Brian Sims finally came home from the hospital. It was awesome. I mean, just the, the support I have from the community has just been unreal. I mean, it's, it's been great and it's helped me get through all this. The offensive line coach and head track coach was battling Stevens Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis, a severe skin reaction to medication that left most of his body covered in painful blisters as if he'd been burned. At several times, he was near death. I never thought it would come to where I'm at now. A lot of it, especially the, the worst parts, I don't even remember. Pretty much every complication that you could get, he had renal failure, respiratory failure. We knew we would eventually get home from Tulsa, but at more than one point, we were afraid that he might not be with us. Thousands of people across the country and across the world prayed for Sims to live. And while often his diagnosis is fatal, this time it was not. Sims gives credit to God, his doctors, and the power of your prayers. That's one reason I think I've pulled through all this. And I would get messages on Facebook and they would say, you know, I felt a strong need to get up and pray. You know, it would be in the middle of the night at one or two. And it would be in the moment that we were in a life-threatening situation. The road to recovery will not be easy, but today, Sims is glad to be home with his family. And Coach Sims is expected to make a full recovery, but only after weeks and months of rehabilitation and physical therapy. And of course, he's looking forward to the day when he'll be back on this field coaching the Bulldogs. Live in Greenwood, Brett Rains, 4029 News.